England, I've lost the final. I've got an England fan here with me, Joe. Sum that up for me in one word. We were really poor. One, one word for me first. We're poor. 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 I mean, where did it all go wrong tonight? It felt like England had that in the palm of the hand at times. You probably cost the game. Didn't make substitutions quick enough. Kane, in hindsight, maybe shouldn't have started. Didn't look fit enough, but Spain ultimately deserved it. You think they were the better team? Spain were the better side. We were poor tonight. Didn't, didn't create enough overall. Do you feel like England's luck has maybe run out in this final? There were so many times during this tournament where it seemed like it was all over and they clawed it back and this was the last one to claw back and they just couldn't. Yeah, we, ultimately our luck had run out. We had, we'd had the moments with Jude against Slovakia, but we, didn't, we weren't good enough. We, we, needed, we, we needed to do more on the ball individually, but didn't, weren't good enough tonight. What do you think it is about England why they cannot win finals? We've got a loser's mentality. We've not, we've not got born winners like the Spanish have. We're not going to win anything under this regime. Gareth Southgate, what do you think his future should be? He's done great for England, two finals, a semi-final, but I think it's time to go. You wouldn't have him for the World Cup? No, he's done, been a great servant, but I'd move on. Overall, what's your experience been like here in Germany for the Euros, despite the loss tonight? Yeah, it's been really good. The Germans have been really, really good and um, welcoming, but heartbreaking to lose. Two more England fans here with me. What are your names? Peter. Kieran. Can you try to sum that up for me in one word? Disappointing. Yeah. You want one word? <laughs> yeah, frustrated, but yeah. Do you feel like Spain were the better team tonight? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they were. They were, they were absolutely, and they've been the best. They have been the best team this tournament. We gave them a game tonight, which is more than I maybe expected, and I'm, I'm proud of the boys for that. But the changes came maybe a little bit too late. But I was, I was pleased how we played. I think. Do you feel like maybe England's luck slightly ran out? There have been times in this tournament where it seemed like they were going to go out, they were going to lose the game, they clawed it back, they clawed it back, and tonight they just couldn't do that. I don't think it's luck. I think, I think, yes, they had a good amount of luck, and it didn't happen, but. It's more about how you approach the game, I think. And I think if you just be a little bit more on the front foot. I don't I don't hate Southgate for the fact he's been really on the back foot, but he's, he's been quite structured. But you've just got to put a bit more out. You've got to push it forward more. You see how much the subs make a difference. Palmer coming on, making a hell of a difference. Watkins has as well. Should, should Watkins have started tonight? Harry Kane's obviously I'm carrying something. He must be carrying something. And also, my only disappointment with that is he is the... He is the England captain. He knows he's carrying something. He's not right. He's not right. He's not fit. And we can see it. Every game he's come off, uh, whether it's Watkins or it's Palmer, we make, a, we make a difference. Do you feel like because he has that captain's armband, he's been playing more? Oh, look, and let, let's give him credit. He is the all-time scorer for England, and he does deserve that. But he's, he's, he's not right. He's not been right this tournament. And we've seen now that, actually in a positive way, I was always worried before this tournament, who the hell have we got coming behind Kane? And actually, we've already seen it, you know, Palmer and Watkins have shown that we've got a fantastic future beyond Kane. When you look at this tournament, how do you feel about Gareth Southgate? Do you think he got more things wrong than he did right or vice versa? And do you want him to stay? He's, he's got to a final, he's got to back-to-back -to -back finals, he's got us to a real deep in tournaments for the last... But. I think it is time for a change. I think someone with the squad, you've got such great young players coming through, like talk about subs and other people. You've got to have someone else trying to take him forward. It's, it's time for him to hand over. Time for change? 100% it is. Everyone on paper had England as the favourites for a reason, because on paper we do have the best team. We just maybe don't have the best manager or the back team. And I think under a new regime, I think World Cup 26, here we go. Got an England fan here with me, what's your name? My name is Felix. Felix, I've been told that you've got something to say, so I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you take it away. Well, I think it was an amazing game. Uh, this is the first game I've ever seen in England live. Brilliant, but I'm going to say that I think Spain deserved the win. When Harry Kane got that penalty, I think myself and a bunch of others can agree that it wasn't deserved. Despite how great it may have felt in the moment, it wasn't a deserved penalty, and therefore. I can come to the conclusion that Spain deserve this win and all the respect to them. When you look at England and the way that they performed, was there any anything that Southgate did wrong tonight, do you think? I'm one of the few that actually really respect Southgate. I'm coming off what my dad told me, who's been around for a lot longer than all of us. And he's basically said that Gareth Southgate is the one manager that really took England to where we are now. I think 
what I think really is that third time's the charm. Okay, we'll win next time. It's fated. Do you think we'll win the next Euros or the next World Cup? One or the other or both, but I'm positive. Yeah? Yeah. And what's your experience been like at the Euros? I've had a really wicked time, honestly. Just being here has been great. And England will go again? I am 100% positive. Got Neil here with me. Neil, sum that up for me in one word. Uh, just, it was, well, <laughs> devastating, obviously. Devastating. I mean, where did it all go wrong? It felt like England had the game in the palm of their hands at times, but they just couldn't get it done. I don't think we took it over the line. We haven't done for a while. First half was great. I don't think we did anything wrong. We were probably not expected to win tonight, but that hope from the Palmer goal, and the hope always does it, I think the hope's what got us tonight again. But you've got to give credit to everything they did. It's a young team and a team that still still come back. So. Do you feel like Spain deserved the win tonight? I mean, they've been amazing throughout the tournament. Throughout the tournament they do, and we didn't deserve to win throughout the tournament, but tonight we just thought it was ours, and it could have been. But credit to everyone and uh, all we could do. Just a shame. I mean, we don't like to... We don't have to pinpoint names, but is there anyone in particular that you think or anything you think should have changed in that game? Do you think Harry Kane should have started in hindsight? I think Harry Kane should have started. I think we had tired legs with Declan Rice and I wish he maybe wasn't there towards the end of the game, but yeah. it's in hindsight. It's easy to say that. But And Gareth Southgate, what do you think his future should look like? I've always been a believer. I have followed England for 19 years and I have never seen an England fan base and feeling like we've had for the last eight years. So Gareth, to me, is the best thing we've ever had, and we should give him all credit. If he goes, he goes. He'll go out in a blaze of glory, even though he didn't win. And when you look at this England team, with Southgate or without Southgate, the talent that they've got, do you feel, obviously tonight it's dis disappointing, but there is some optimism maybe once they're just to settle, looking ahead to something like the World Cup? There's always going to be optimism. We have a great young team. We've got to take them forward. They've learned a lot in the last few tournaments and we just carry on. We're England. We'll, we'll go again. We'll be there in two years and we'll have the hope and the desire again. Another England fan here with me. What's your name? My name's John. Hello. Sum that up for me in one word. Uh, difficult. Difficult. Where do you think it went wrong tonight? I didn't really think it went too far wrong. We, we, we restricted them to very few chances and I kind of feel like the game plan probably got executed perfectly to be honest with you. We opened them up a little bit in the second half. I think we had a five minute spell after we equalised where we really looked like we were really going to take something on and I think everyone really collectively believed that that was our little moment. Um, then they managed to kind of take this thing out of the game just immediately after that five minute spell and then we struggled to just get back on top. I think we're going to look back at that their winning goal and think it might be a bit soft but yeah I don't know. Yeah, Tough, very tough. When you look at some of the players, you look at a player like Harry Kane, do you think that England will have a few regrets? Maybe they shouldn't have started him tonight or not? No, I don't think we can have too many regrets. I feel like, you know, we kind of grew into the tournament, which I think is probably what you've got to do. You know, there's good examples in the past of like, that's a good way to go in tournaments. So I think we should be, um, we should be upbeat. And I think we've got a lot of promise. There's a lot of players that came through that showed themselves at this level that are really, really promising. So yeah, kind of uh, onwards and onwards. What do you want to happen with Gareth Southgate? Do you want him managing England for the World Cup? Yeah, I'd like to see him there at the World Cup. Yeah, I'm going to head out there, so... Uh, already planning it? Already planning it, yeah. It's difficult to take right now, but... Uh, Do you feel like Spain were the better team tonight or not? Uh, maybe marginally, yeah, maybe marginally. Like I said, we restricted them to very few chances. We had very few chances ourselves, so... Uh, I think over the course of the tournament, they're definitely been the best side in the competition, so... Fair dues, a little bit tricky um, to take right now, but yeah. And if you could give a message to those England players and Gavin Southgate right now, what would it be? I think there's lots of reasons for um, to be optimistic and to have hope. And I feel like uh, you know USA will come around real quick. And I think we've got we've got this you know we've got we're building something here. And I feel like I'm I'm, I'm positive. Something England will I'm go again. Right now, yeah, we go again. England fan here with me. What's your name? Tom. Tom. Yeah. Sum that up for me in one word. It's a bit gutting, really. It was an amazing day. I wouldn't change it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. But yeah, just yeah, gutting, really. Where do you think it went wrong tonight and during this tournament? I don't know. They just seem to be comfortable sitting back when they're, they're such a talented bunch of players. But I don't know. Yeah, it's... Do you feel like with Spain bringing Rodri off, England should have maybe jumped at that 
chance to change the game and they didn't? I think after we scored we should have carried on that same pressure but that's hindsight isn't it, you're never going to know, still might have been the same but yeah. When you look at Harry Kane, a lot of talk about him, was he fit enough, should he have been starting games, do you think England will have any regrets with Kane and starting him tonight? I think you, him being on the pitch is still, he's got a goal in him but he does, I don't think he's been fit but yeah, I, I think we've just been unlucky, the better team probably won over the whole tournament and we got lucky to get here, but we didn't take it. So. Do you feel like it was a case of England's luck ran out tonight? There were so many chances where it seemed like they were on the cusp of going out or losing games, and they managed to claw it back, and tonight they just couldn't do that? Yeah, probably. So, yeah. And Gareth Southgate, his future, what do you want to happen? Um, he's probably one of the best managers in my lifetime we've had, but I don't know, if he's in a lose-lose, so maybe he's best for him. I don't know, sometimes it's better devil you know. And looking at England and the talent that that team has, does this give you a slight bit of optimism maybe looking ahead to the World Cup, the next Euros, that England can come to another final and actually win it? Um, yeah, but I think if we don't win nothing with this bunch of players, then I don't think we will win anything. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.